All right, the loot walkthrough for Ferry Terminal. All right, I like to start on the side with the road. I'll show you the route. Uh, I like to start right here with a box first. And a barrel. I'm on 300 ping, so it's gonna be a little weird. Uh, then straight to the crudes. That's the amount of action we see. More barrels as we head around. I like to call this like the first building. The outer building. I don't know what to call it. Um, we're going up there. You can get on these barrels and go up. But we're going to chop these barrels. So probably not a way you can get up. The more normal path is these little crates up on the fence. To the top of that pallet and another box right here all right from these i like to go this way get these barrels on the way to the recycler okay done deal uh coming around here a couple more barrels to hit there's usually a barrel right here and then there's possible up to three crude barrels that can spawn here. Red barrels, whatever. And then recycler. I'm on low pop right now, so I'm just gonna throw this stuff in recycler and uh, let it cook while we're gone. If I was playing high pop and I actually expected people to be here, um, generally I bring a crossy because it's kind of a prim monument. And I like to sneak up this way. And if I hear the recycler going, I can usually get a headshot off right here. The guy recycling. It's a really good place to check from. Most people, like, when they're on the recycler, they're, like, right here watching this way and this way. But they don't really look for this path. Um, that's kind of how I like to approach if I'm expecting competition. Uh, let's put that on. All right. Now we're kind of done with the first building. You can, uh, you can wrap around here and get these last two barrels. Just so you we can have kind of a total path. Some of the stuff hasn't spawned. I just checked through the monument. I don't know. It's super low pop, so I doubt it will spawn. But I'll show you where it's at anyway. Um, so that kind of completes the first building there. And we're to our first, like, uh, thing we can use, which is the car lift. Uh, you know, we can uh, drive your car here and put a lock on it or whatever. Uh, I really don't mess with cars a lot, so I don't know what this is going to do, but we're going to destroy something in seven seconds. Okay, we destroyed it. All right, on to the second building. Start right here with this barrel and work my way inside. And we're going to pass what's the first green card. Nobody knows this green card's here, so it's pretty much a free green card all the time. And we get to our first like spot that's really good for holding the recycler. It's this head glitch. This right here is a nasty one. You can just peek up and usually get a hit on the guy who's at the recycler. You can watch your recyclables from here. Uh, that's a really good spot in general. Uh, if there are a lot of people moving around the monument, I generally hold right here because I can hit them there. If they do peek in, you know, a DBU from this far is pretty good as well. So that's a great spot. Um, moving on for the loot. There's generally a box that spawns right here. It's a brown box. I've never seen it be milli crate. So I think this is a brown box spawn. It's not here right now. Same thing for a barrel right here. And then moving kind of past the, uh, whatever you call these, and to the tunnels entrance, there's a box that spawned here. I've seen this be milli crate, I think. Maybe not. This may be just brown crate. And we have the research bench, which is really useful if it's like BP wipe or something like that. Um, barrel on the way out and to our next little honestly really cool spot that no one uses so far at least you can close these little vent things and you can kind of rat in here and you can poke out either way it's also a really good way to like lose somebody if you're getting chased through here uh you can dip out through the rest of the monument here and kind of close this behind you and dip um if i'm being chased by a big group in this monument i generally just head down into the tunnels and dip through the tunnels as you can see through here and then you have a regular metro entrance down there um all right 
we have a couple more barrels and then we're done with the second what I like to call main building uh, usually some barrels over here they're not there there are some around this back side let's see if they're here uh, they're not here either so there are some barrels that spawn on the outside of this building you can hit um, the reason I'm including barrels in this guide is because it's a large part of the monument there are a lot of boxes but there are also a lot of barrels so got those two and now we're gonna head up on the sky bridge all right this big thing that connects these two now you can get up over there but I recently found another little rope that can get you up without having to go all the way back there. You can climb up right here. There's also a barrel that spawns right here. That's down there, but it's not there right now. Okay, from here, you can run and jump onto this part. And you can hold Recycler and have a nice peek of the monument through right here. Uh, I still don't know if you can boost into right here with multiple people. If you guys know about that, if you've done it, let me know. Because I think that would be a really nasty place to camp. Um, you can do. You can also run the entire way and get up on that little roof camp section from that ladder. But for now, we're going to go to this part of the monument over here. So once I'm done for like loot path, once I'm done with the main building, I like to head out here and get these two crates on this truck. All right, and then there's also a crate that can spawn right here, but it's not here right now. And in this van, there's another crate that can spawn. It is not here right now. I know that can be Millie though, so you know, pay attention to that one. There's a crate that spawns down here that nobody ever takes and is taken right now. So there's one right there. I've only ever seen that one be brown crate throw. Back up here to the lighthouse and we got some barrels. Head over to this yellow crate, uh, shipping container, I don't know, uh, a couple more barrels, and the third kind of like deployable to use, which is the repair bench. All right, once that's done, I like to head out over here to the guardrail, where you can see a box right there on a barrel, but we're going to get these barrels first right here. There's also a barrel that spawns at this lighthouse right here. I don't know if it's here right now. It is not. I think it spawns like right here. So going down to get these before we head out to the water. Another crate and barrel. I actually like if I'm playing on a, like a higher pop server or expect competition, I like to throw loot right here in this bush. You know, the stuff I'm gonna like not recycle and I come pick this up later. I just don't wanna risk dying. I usually throw it in this bush. Because not many people come down here. You could like throw it in the waters right here or something like that. But I just always use that bush. Okay. Two crates spawn on this little boat. Which honestly rarely people come to get. I find that if I'm if the monument's contested and this is the only place I can get loot. I just hang out here on this boat. And if somebody swims up they're an easy kill. But the if you're playing on a high pop these, these spawn very quickly. So this is a tugboat that's, you know, not usable model. Um, two crates. This one can be, both of these can be Millie. I've seen them both be brown and Millie at different times. So, you know, another possible Millie crate spawn there. And then back to the lighthouse. Oh, this box did spawn. Look at that. Hey, okay. I wonder if some more spawned. Hold on, I'm going to take a peek right quick. Normally, I would just grab this box and head over. But I want to take a peek right quick. See if anything. Oh, this one did spawn right here too. Okay, cool. So you can see this one's here. Oh, what perfect timing, man. Let's see if this one spawned. Nothing there. Okay, still one can spawn there. This little barrel right quick. This crate. And we're to the roof camp part of the monument. There's a crate that can spawn. Oh, it's here. There we go. I've never seen this one be Millie. And barrels up this like ramp area. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I'm on 300 ping, so it's a little laggy. But this is the only server I could find where Fairy wasn't looted. All right. 
right box down here before we take the jump puzzle hop up on the van and i messed up this jump a lot when i first came to this monument when it first came out but i think i've mastered it now uh you know getting on the rope is easy but getting up here was always my hard part my friends didn't have any trouble with this maybe i'm just stupid but get to the top and then kind of jump up to the right and you get your last two box spawns up here of the monument that okay uh barrels over here and your second box can spawn right here although it's not here right now trust me it is there i've seen that one be millie so it's possible that it is millie crate and then your two your kind of roof camp part of the monument which uh i'm still debating on usefulness of this i don't really think because you can't see recycler or the front side of the monument um it kind of makes it not as good uh, which is a good thing roof campers can't just camp the entire monument but you can see a really good uh, section of the majority of the loot of the monument which is on the back side of it um so up here with your bolty if you like or compound bow um i don't like to go down the way i just came up i actually like to hit this ladder over here because it's a little bit more easy Ooh, let me get these barrels real quick yeah, add these to the total Alright, then down this ladder, onto the sky bridge, and you could hop off in the water here, you can hop off on this and take very minimal fall damage. I like to run it all the way back, I'm on low pop right now, I don't expect any competition. Um, if I did, I would definitely not run right here on the way back. All right, now we didn't talk about this spot, but this is a nasty little camp spot, especially at night. Um, you really can't skyline this. You really can't see up in this corner and you can just peek over and get the headshot. But during the day, you can kind of be a little bit obvious, especially if someone goes up the top there. Uh, you're pretty obvious position, um, but you can, you are able to fight on this backside as well and have a little bit of a hide advantage over here. Um, I've yet to get up there. Please let me know if you guys can get up there. That's so cool to me if you can. Um, all right. I'm going to recycle this all down and show you what I got from one run. Now, we didn't get a couple of the boxes, but we got the majority of the barrels. So, I'm going to show you what I... Uh, I forgot that I put stuff from Recycler earlier. So, to the totals of the end, add like 100 scrap or so cloth and high qual. That's my bad. All right. So, we end up with... Uh, 500 wood, 44 low grade, almost 800 frags, 250 scrap, 250 cloth, 100 crew, 15 high qual, and a green card. Um, not the best run. It can be way better, you know, if crate, depending on crate stuff, what you pull. Um, but there is one thing I didn't show you, and that is that you can cook things right here. I totally forgot about that. You can cook right there. So yeah, um, I think a completely underrated monument. I think it's very, very good, and a lot of groups don't play it yet. If you're playing on high pop, um, we were able to get like 1300 scrap an hour just running crates hitting barrels and recycling right here and also killing the people who come in the monument they come in the monument with like a melee a, a, a spear only you know that kind of thing uh, and coming in with road loot to recycle here and they're pretty much free loot if you have even a cross here or something like that um, I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if I missed anything uh, especially like loot wise you know with the crates and the barrels and any uh, little cool spots Put it down in the comments so other people can uh, enjoy that. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. When I get in, I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour, got me counting down the hours. 